Make sure you subscribe today to get all the latest Fever 20 news, updates, and crew mode content. So what you're about to witness today is a 99 rated player in crew mode. We are going to be doing a crew mode test to see how good a 99 rated player is. We're going to be checking out all his stats and we're going to see his values. We're going to see, you know, how he plays in the game as well. So it should be a fun video to make. I'm going to try and introduce some experiments into the, into the channel. And uh, we're going to start today with the 99 rated guy, otherwise known as Mr. Karma. Today's video is sponsored by OneFootball. OneFootball is the best app to get all the latest football news and live updates. It's also a good place to check scores, stats, and league tables for competitions all over the world. I've been using OneFootball myself for many years, and I do enjoy the app. So make sure you download it for free using my link in the description. So, with that being said, let's take a look at his stats. As you can see, 99 everything. We haven't kept anything lower than 99. Crossing is 99. Finishing, heading accuracy, short passing, volleys. Weak foot is 5 stars. Standing tackle 99, sliding tackle 99. You can actually create this guy yourself as well. You just go to create a player and then you just change all their attributes. Dribbling, curve, free kick accuracy, long passing, ball control, all 99 there. Power, all 99 as well. Uh, the long shots should be insane with this guy with 99 long shots. Movement, 99. Everything looks crazy. Look at that. Imagine 99 sprint speed and acceleration there. Reactions, balance, mentality, all 99 as well. Penalties, 99. Goalkeeper. I mean, if you want him to play in goals, he can play in goals too. 99 diving, handling, kicking, positioning, reflexes. This guy can do it all, man. He's like a one-man army. Anyway, let's put him into career mode and see how he goes. So we're in career mode. We have got our guy here, 99 overall at 17 years old. And uh, let's take a look quickly at his value and stuff. And the attributes, of course, are all 99 except for composure and defensive awareness. I couldn't change that. If we take a look at his little diagram thing, you can see all the stats are at 99 except for one, which is the defending. Doesn't really make a difference, though, because he is playing up front. An absolute wonder kid valued at 183.5 million pounds. I think that's close to like 400 million Australian dollars and probably like 300 and something million US. So pretty expensive guy there. And he's only got one year left on his contract, so we have to change that. Let's see if we can renegotiate him, get him for a more uh, longer-term contract because I want to simulate a few seasons in advance as well. So we meet him at the fancy restaurant. We're going to buy him a nice little lobster, trying to get him in the mood to sign a new contract with us today. And uh, let's see what he says. So we're going to give him a crucial role. Going to put the team on his back. He's going to have to carry the team all season. And they're, of course, happy with that. They want a five-year deal. We'll give him that as well. They don't want to take a no-release clause contract. They actually want to put one in. So they're valuing him at 350 million pounds, which is a lot of money and obviously would make any club happy if they got it. But I don't want to lose the guy, so let's deny it because I want to simulate a few years in advance. And it's pointless if he goes to another club. I can't test him out after. But uh, he wants 135 grand a week. He's actually taking a pay cut. His current wage is 200,000. He's taking a pay cut for more bonuses. I don't know if he's ripping me off or he's just an idiot. But yeah, he's taking a pay cut. Of course I'll take that. We've got the best player in the world at 17 years old on a five-year deal at 135 grand a week. Absolute bargain. So that's how Man United will line up for the season. And now what we're going to do is simulate towards the end of the season and see how he does. Top scorer was Sergio Aguero and Vapex. It was tied. But of course, Aguero did it in 36 while I played 38 games. So, still got that 99 rating. His value went up by 8%. 200 million pounds is his value now. And uh, let's see his status. So, he's happy with his player performance. He's happy with his play time. His contract is not happy. Well, I guess he's regretting that pay cut he took at the start of the season where he went from 200k a week to 135. So, maybe he's regretting that. Wants more money. Ain't going to happen, mate. But he's already got the trait. One of the world's best. I mean, he is 99 rated. So, of course... But here is his stats for the season. So, overall, 65 games, 42 goals, 24 assists, with an average of 7.9 match rating. So, European International Cup, 5 appearances, 3 goals, 1 assist, 7.8 rating. Premier League, 38 games, 26 goals, 12 assists, 7.9 rating. Cowboy Cup, 6 games, 4 goals, 1 assist, 7.9 rating. Europa League, 14 appearances, 7 goals, 9 assists, 7.9 again. And the FA Cup, two appearances, two goals, one assist, 7.6. So not a bad season for the guy. His stats all stayed at 99. He didn't lose any stats. He didn't go up. Of course, there's no room for improvement. But yeah, that was his season one. In good news for Mr. Vapex, he does win the player of the competition for the Europa League. So that's pretty good for his first season. Player of the competition as well. He picked up two personal trophies, including the Golden Boot as well. 26 goals in the Premier League. So he got the Premier League player of the competition as well, which is good. 
I'm guessing he made the team of the competition, but doesn't really say anything here. So in the second season, our guy wins the golden ball, the Ballon d'Or. He was the league's player of the year. So yeah, he gets the Ballon d'Or, whatever you call it, in his second season. So we're at the end of season two, and it looks like a busy season. We've got two finals, the FA Cup and the Champions League. Looks like we're going to have to play the Champions League final. But first things first, looks like we won back-to-back -back Premier Leagues with our guy. 110 goals scored this time. Looks like our guy had a great season. Still got one more game to go, but let's see his stats before I forget, and then I don't show you guys. So, 99 rated again. In 64 appearances, he scored 58 goals, 22 assists, with an average of 8.1. So, he scored more goals than last season. Looks like he's only getting better now as he gets a bit older. 7 goals in the preseason, 10 goals in Champions League, 37 goals in 37 matches in the Premier League. So, a goal a game, 15 assists as well. Carabao Cup and FA Cup there as well with some decent stats. Attributes all stay the same. Financials went up again to 216 million. So it should be an interesting game. Joao Felix already on steroids to start this game off. We could be in trouble. Icardi's also signed for Atletico Madrid. They're always overpowered in this game, man. Anyway, let's see how we go with our 99 rated guy. Please make a run, buddy. Lays it off. Lingard looking for options. James picks it up down the right. We've got him in the back post if he gets there. Played inside, and he scores. Yes, he does. Our 99 rated guy scores the first goal in the final. And pretty much James did all the hard work, laid it across, took a little bit of a deflection, but it still went in. First goal for our best in the world player. And uh, he, he actually made it a bit hard for himself. He kicked it straight at the keeper. Walker puts it in. Oh, Joao Felix scores, but he's offside. Very, very lucky there. Joao Felix, another wonder kid, I guess, but he is offside. He finally realizes it. We're still 1-0 up. Look okay, at the skill moves. Nothing scares this guy. Nothing scares this guy at all. Doing fake shots. Cuts it back inside. It's another goal. Oh, what a goal. There we go. That's what he can do. That's his magic. 2-0. Two goals for him already. A very classy goal by our guy there. 99 rated. That's what it gets you. A goal at any second. It's opened up here. one Basaka can't get there. Lamar scores, but he's offside again. Two goals and they're both offside for Atletico Madrid. Not a good day for them. Here we go, Pogba. Chip it over the top, nice. Come on, buddy, make a run. There we go. Lay it inside. Oh, what a pass. What a pass. Lingard to score, and he does. Finally, he does something right. And uh, Mr. Vapex gets the assist. Saul with the shot. De Gea with the save. Lingard plays it. Nice fake shot. Look at that. He beats three players. Three players with pace, and he misses the shot, but he gets a second chance, and he hits the post again, but Martial taps it in. All right, I'll take it. Daniel James plays it back inside. Lingard picks it up. It's opened up again. What's he going to do? Oh, he gets past him. Oh, they give it back to him. Oh, my goodness, he's still going. It hits the post, and they clear it. What a mess. There we go. Oh, what a goal. What a hat trick. Wow. That was fantastic, man. That was fantastic. Perfect celebration as well. Look at that. He did that FIFA 19 flick up and volley. What a what a goal, man. That is what I call a perfect player. Well, the match is over. We did win the Champions League in our second season. This guy is, of course, one of the best players in the game. He was clumsy in my first game, but he really turned it on today. And obviously he showed his magic with that last goal. What a perfect goal. So we've reached season three and it looks like our guy picks up another Ballon d'Or. This is his second in a row. Absolute beast. And you've got to remember this guy is like 20 years old in the game as well. So he's already picked up two Ballon d'Ors before he reached 21 years old. So we have reached the Champions League final for season four. So this is our second final in, in a row. And uh, let's simulate this one. I'm not going to play it again. We'll just simulate, see how we go. And it looks like Vapex is starting up front. Hopefully we can beat Real Madrid. We won 4-0. Vapex scores a hat-trick. I'm telling you, this guy carries the team so much. Look at that. Three goals. Absolutely smash Real Madrid. But let's take a look at the final season stats for the guy. Man United pick up another Premier League. And Vapex finishes top scorer. Pereira with 27 goals and Fred with 27 goals. What is going on there? But yeah, the, the guy obviously carries the team, mate. He's an absolute beast. So at the end of Season 4, he is 20 years old now. Stats have all stayed the same. Nothing has gone down. And let's check his financial. It's gone up by 5%. 227 million now is the value. And let's see the season stats. So he's played a lot of competitions. And it looks like the graph is glitching out a bit. I don't know if 
that's because there's too many competitions listed. But Champions Trophy, five appearances, three goals. Community Shield, he scored two goals in one match. Champions League, 13 goals in 11 games. Premier League, 31 goals in 37 appearances, 16 assists. Carabao Cup, four goals in six games. Super Cup, one goal in one game. And the FA Cup, six goals in six games. So in total, 60 goals out of 67 appearances in the season. 25 assists with an average rating of 8.0. I guess to conclude, if you put a 99 rated player into career mode, he's going to dominate completely. You're going to win the league. This guy's going to score goals for fun. And when you use him in the game as well, he's unstoppable. So this guy is just a goal scoring machine, man. And uh, yeah, it was an interesting experiment. And uh, let me know if you want to see any other kinds of experiments on the channel as well. Maybe once a week we'll do something different. With that being said, let's end the video here. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you need something else to watch, make sure you hit the card in the middle. It'll take you to another video. I'll see you next time.